just for fun. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that actually. The back being the front. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. So today's project is a subscriber request to um, produce a long denim skirt by refashioning a denim pair of pants. Now I've chosen these ones because I think they're so cute. <laughs> with this elasticated waistband but they but this technique can be done on any pair of jeans and um, traditional pair of jeans or different styles of jeans it can be done I would say that in order to achieve the look that you want and to make sure you get as much coverage as possible so you're not hobbling around in it unless you want to hobble around in it that obviously is a choice um, then it's it's best if it's quite loose fitting or even baggy on your body shape uh, mine's is uh yeah it's loose fitting on my body shape i'm gonna keep it's going to be long i'm not going to cut it you can do you can you can cut it you can have whatever length that you wish so the first thing we need to do is to get ourselves a seam ripper <laughs> That's what you need for these projects, don't you? It's always a seam ripper. So, and we're going to rip the seams from the un from the inside leg. So, we're working on the inside seam leg. We're going to open that up. So, I'm going to bring the camera down so that you can see it, and then we're going to release some of the crotch in order to it to lie, pro lie properly and lie flat so that we can get this skirt effect from these pair of jeans so let's get started so this is where we're going to be starting on the inside seam leg uh, and then we need to be able to get this double seam down like that for the front and back to create that unusual design feature then be quite long it's sent to the wrong side let's see what's Okay. Use it as a chain stitch that we can get hold of in order to release the stitching. It can be tricky to find as well. And if that is not an option and because it's so, this is, well, the colour to this thread is matching this denim really well. I'm going to cut, but like I said, there is an option if you have the patience and also the time to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to get my scissors. I'm just going to snip into here. And then just cut. Done. The seams are now open. The next step is going to be to lie the front and also the back crotch seam. 
as flat as possible. So we're going to need to unpick. Oh, I'm not going to be. Right, I'm going to get my seam ripper. If you can and it's possible then you can always work from the inside and just unravel the stitching but that is just too messy. So I'm just going to use my seam ripper and just gently tease it apart. I'm going to take it to about here and then lie it flat as much as I possibly can. That's a trick to this is to have it to lie really flat There we go, get myself started. This is a case of just taking your time really. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about DIY fashion. So I'm here to inspire, motivate and share my ideas for upcycling fashion. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, if you want a one-to-one, -one, a more personal approach to your refashion projects and your wardrobe then my patreon platform is where you need to be that is where you will find me links are in the description let's get back to the video i just want to share some tips and advice before i move on to the next stage um by the way let me just tell you about my top <laughs> this is a refashioned project i did this about a year ago and i know it looks a bit different from when you when i first started the video but it has a life of its own and this is what i mean about fashion has a new aesthetic because this is doing what it wants to do and i'm just letting it do it and i'm enjoying it let me just show you the back as like a cape effect so when I started the video, it was all the way down here. And then because I've been working and because there's a little bit of restriction, um, yeah, ah, just watch the video. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. So let's get on with these jeans. Now the advice and tip I'm going to be sharing you is, um, as I'm going along, I'm going to be doing a couple of fittings. Um, but what I want to share with you now is basically to do with body shape because it really does depend on whether you're not whether or not you've got a tummy and whether you have a a buttocks and it will depend on how far you will need to unpick but the advice is as always is to fit so i may need to go a bit further than what i have here and i've been a camera down to explain that in a minute both for the front and also the back because i'm going to focus on my body shape and also the shape of the actual denim that i'm working with because there's quite a lot of room in this because of the elastication like i said it's baggy um it may not cause issues but it will depend on the opening for the back and the front um, but I've been the camera down and I'll tell you all about that. So I have just unpicked the stitching to about here and that lies pretty flat. That's that's a good result. And then you can just do your top stitching. And if you have if you are a person that is pear shaped, then this you wouldn't have to go any further than that. But saying that it could be quite short, so you may have to add a bit more denim in here or any other type of fabric it doesn't have to be denim um and i would advise to do that but i want to get it as close as possible and and suppose if you've got a bit of a tummy as well that could also be an issue so don't necessarily have to be a pear shape but always do your fitting so i am going to 
actually what I'll do I'll leave it at this point here and then I'll show you and then I know I'm going to at least take it up here so I can bring it more here so that will allow this to close more so like that and I think I will be comfortable with showing my legs from that point on now for the back it's about the it's basically the same it depends on the shape of your buttocks um, so what I'm thinking is that again the design for my jeans is um, it's a deciding factor in how I'm going to be doing this and also a little bit doing my body shape but as you can see this is it's quite open isn't it so that and, and I want a back seam so that's gonna have to come up quite a bit and I've got a tuck here which I don't want So I'm going to have to play it around with the back a little bit more. It may mean I have to take it all the way almost to the waistline. But if you don't have the issues that I'm having, then I would say just take it just above where the points of the pockets are here. Yeah, that's that would be good yeah so I've taken it just above the point it depends on the shape of the pockets as well like you have on your denim jeans because it could be a rounded pocket to so then it may come further up but just do it at increments I would say until you're happy with it and it fits your body shape you way the way you want it to but I definitely want a back seam in here so I don't know how far that is going to go but I'm going to baste and then try it on and show you. So I'm working on the back, so I'm going to have my seams flat on top, like so, and I'll probably start about here. You can go, you can sew all the way to the hem of the jeans, but I'm going to give myself a little bend just to see how it is. I may sew all the way down, I don't know. Let's just see. So I'll just put a couple of pins in, like so. Oh, I don't think that matches up, does it? There, there, there. Put a pin in here. Yeah, that lines up. No, that doesn't quite line up. Okay, that's fine. High street jeans. Um, I hope that isn't going to cause any issues with one leg being slightly bigger than the other. I'm going to have my raw edge exposed because I think it's going to be fun but you don't have to you can just do a regular plain seam or a flat fell seam I'll put links to those below okay so we're getting the shape here so we've got some ugliness that's happening here uh, this is as flat as possible. See what, why I said I may have to bring it all the way up to here. I'll just do it in increments. So we've got this too much fullness there. So it looks flat and fine here. 
at the side seams. So I'm going to continue just pinning along there. So it's nice and flat. Remember that's what you're looking for, flat at this point. And here. Okay, so this is where the issue is, where you are obviously going to get some fullness. So it, it will be a case I'll have to take it further up. And it could be able to, I could enable myself to can because it's on the curved to actually ease that in it's possible for that to be eased in so let me see I just pin starting from here this is where the, the issue is where it's bunching up okay Okay, so that's nice and flat. Not too bad. There is there is some fullness there. So if you've got more of a fuller posterior, it maybe too may not be too much of an issue. But if you haven't, it could be. Okay, so now I'm just going to baste and then try on. This is the front. It lies pretty okay I'm happy with that yeah it's nice yeah I, I do feel as though it could come over a bit more because I want to not show as much as my knees so I think I could get it to about here bit of a, a hobble walk that's okay so you don't see as much as my knees now so as you can see here there's too much fullness so that needs to come way over here to solve that problem so it may mean I have to bump it a little further up not too much so that lies flat and that's okay yeah it's it's fine yeah that's all right so we've got the back to deal with now if i go sideways you can see what's happening here um but no it's it's okay it's not it will lie flat just easing in the curve here it will lie flat I think that's okay. I'm going to turn this around to the front. I know, just for fun. Okay. Oh, okay. I quite like that actually. The back being the front. So that will just be a case of easing this curved edge in there. But I, what I would do that I, I will still I'll pick the stitch into about here so it lies a little bit, yeah, a little bit more like that, I think. Maybe not because we're talking about the front here, aren't we? But if you have, if you are finding there is too much fullness, then it can be a case of just unpicking maybe all the way up to the waistline and then overlapping so this lies really flat and curved. But no, it's possible. Oh, that looks nice, actually. I kind of prefer it. so I can get it to lie a bit more flat just a bit more and the same with the front and then it should be okay 
I'll show you what to do next. Let me just put that there. Twirl this around again. Yeah, it's nice. So this is the front, we're going to focus on that first. Now this is where I want the overlap to, to end. So it just needs, you can see this fullness here, it needs to be brought over here just a bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Yes. Just bring that over just a bit. Yeah, that's nice and flat. So maybe just trying to get it as flat as possible. It was here, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's good. So the next thing I am going to do is to pin this in place. And one more here. And I'm going to stitch within the original stitch line to the best of my ability. Just keeping that flat. Now you have a choice of whether you want to do a double fold here and that's possible, just turn it once and so, or you know, you can overlock the edges. You know, there are options of how you want to finish off this seam. I want mine to be like this, what's happening here, this frayed edge, because I like that. So I'm leaving that, let it do what it needs to do. And it's stuck in here, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going to use this colour stitching to, <laughs> that I have, which is a thread that is almost as close as to the original colour of the thread there. But I'm in two minds whether or not to create the same down here to stitch it once or possibly twice or just use a blue. But I'm going to do this first. I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to test it to see if I like it. And if not, then I'll just go with the blue. So that's okay. So let's just flip it over. Let me just put one more pin in here. Now this was the case I was going to bring it over just a little bit wasn't I? So I'm just going to release some of that stitching just a little bit. Okay, that should be enough. Make sure that's nice and flat. Pull the seams. And again, it is a case of getting that to lie flat. And because you're working with 
a curve it shouldn't be too much of an issue to get that to lie flat without it bulking or creating any kind of ripples Yeah, I'm finding that it is causing us a bit of ripples. Then put a pin into that ripple and then just spread the rest of it out. The more pins, the better. And then you can always baste as well. As you can see, I'm going for lots of pins. Going to put one in here and one more there. Okay, lots of pins. So I'm going to do the same again where I'm going to do the double, double top stitching here to that point there and then make my mind up whether I'm going to follow through with that stitching thread all the way down. I don't think I will, but I need to visually see it to see if I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's take that to the sewing machine and stitch away. So now that I've done the top stitching, I'm ready to do, I've swapped out my threads because I've decided that I just want a plain blue type thread to just run down the centre of the skirt. Um, but like I said before, it's your choice what you want to do. So I'm just going to be using the smallest stitch possible because remember, this used to be a pair of pants, so there will be a little bit of tension. So it's best to keep the stitches as small as possible. And it's, it's a good idea to work from the actual crotch line that you just sew down to where you want to stop rather than doing it the, the other way around, just in case you may come across any issues of too much fullness. And it's just a straight stitch. It's, it's nothing special, just a straight stitch. Just be careful as you go because you don't want the pins to uh, stick you. That's if you haven't decided to base, which I highly recommend, especially if you are a beginner. That's nice. 
and it peeps on the opposite side and the opposite seam. That is gorgeous. I've finished all my machine sewing. So here are the results. Let's take out a basting stitch. See, it's not a bad match. A bit brighter than the original, but that's fine. I suppose in time it, it, it may just, yeah, get a bit darker, but it's done. So what I'm going to do then is just cut away some of these loose threads and then do a fitting. See how that is. So what I did here, um, was it two, yeah, stitch length, stitch length two, and um, I use, it's very, very small, cause I want it to be small because it used to be a pair of pants and we've got to think about tension, even though there is some stretch in this, and then along here did like a bar, cross bar, and that was just one, so I went over there several times. Um, as you know, I'm leaving the frame, cause I think that is gorgeous, I like that effect, but you do have options to neat in your seam if you wish. So that's the front, looking good. And here is the back. So I just need to take out base and stitch, same method. Um, yeah, the back looks good as well, doesn't it? Just hoping that this will sit okay. Yeah, should do. That's fine. Yep, happy with that. So let's have a try on. I'll turn it to the wrong side. So you can have a look. Okay. So what I'm going to do is hand stitch this flapping part so it stays in position. But you can also cut this away if you feel as though you need to add sections into the lower section of the skirt. And it will, it will depend on the design that you have. That was the front, this is the back, and there's obviously a lot more. And for now, I'm gonna keep that here. And if I need some <laughs> denim <laughs> for a project, I know where to come. Um, but no, I'm going to keep that in position. Yeah, do the same that I'm going to do to the front. That's fine with me. Yeah, so that's it. That's, that is the inside. So let's try it on now. Okay, let's have a look. Yes, that's nice. That is gorgeous. That's work. That's nice. It's nice silhouette. Not showing too much of my leg. I like that. Yes, nice flat as much as it possibly can. Yeah, let's have a look at the back. Yeah, the back's not bad. I think it's okay. Side view. Yeah, I think it's maybe it's maybe a tiny bit of fullness in there, but it's it's to do with the fact that it's a gathered skirt, gathered elastic waistband. Ah, that's fine. It's what it is. No, I'm happy with that. It's good. I want to be able to sit in like this. There is some stretch in it, but not a lot. And not a lot of stretch. But no, I'm happy with that. Let's turn it to the front. <laughs> yeah, I do like it. I do like the fact that um, I can wear it both ways. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. I can wear it both ways. That's cute. Yeah. Two-way skirt, two-way denim skirt I'm calling this project. 
Okay, happy with the results. Let's have a look at the back. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. Another successful project, and that was a subscriber request. Um, if you want me to do a video tutorial, you can always request one and then we can put it to the vote. So yes, what can I say? It feels good. <laughs> it feels good at the moment. I just have to do a bit of walking around in it for a while, about 20 minutes or so, and see how it feels and sit down and walk. Um, but it feels okay, it feels good. Um, well, I, I definitely think I'll wear it both ways. I'm going to give it a go, because you know it's me. <laughs> so I will definitely wear it both ways. And I'm happy with the way it's gone. Is there anything else I could share with you? No, it's just how you want to finish off your seams. Is, it really is up to you. What I'll do, I'll put links into the, the descriptions to give you some um, ideas of um, raw edge finishes, seam finishes, and hopefully that will help. Um, anything else? No. Oh, the inside. And if you don't want to show too much of your leg, then you can always cut away those sections from the inside and then just place them in position and just top stitch whatever choice you decide to go for. It's quite easy. Uh, no, there's nothing else I can think of. Um, the size. Your body shape is going to play a part and the style and shape of the jeans is also going to play a part in how it fits so do bear that in mind when you are trying to make a choice of what type of jean to go for if you went for a more fitted one then yes you will definitely struggle in um in the the length and also the fit and walking so i would highly recommend that if you want more movability in <laughs> your denim skirt um, then definitely go for something that has a straight leg so there's more fabric to play around with. So if you are looking for more help and advice then I definitely would recommend you clicking on the link in the Patreon. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please do share. Leave a comment for any video requests that you want me to consider and I definitely will do and put that to the vote. Is there anything else I need to tell you? No I don't think there is. So I will see you next time and thank you for watching.